والله يدعو إلى دار السلام ويهدي من يشاء إلى صراط مستقيم. Okay, the last question um, from the sister is regarding a certain scholar. She, her husband says, I don't want to visit this scholar or sit in his drawers or anything so forth. Um, not because the, his knowledge is uh, defunct, just because the husband doesn't prefer that scholar. For whatever reason, you mm. must obey your husband, especially he's not the only sheikh. He's not the yoni sheikh where if you don't study with him, you will not find any other source of knowledge. Knowledge now, brothers and sisters, and authentic and sound knowledge is available online via satellite TVs and audio and video lectures. So if he says, do not listen to this, do not make this point uh, uh, a point of dispute or difference between you and your husband, rather obey your husband and uh, uh, you may change and listen to another sheikh. And most likely what happens why the husband insists on that because a remark that the wife made concerning the sheikh. I like the sheikh, I like to see the sheikh, I like to this. So you have to be smart also and be moderate. Whenever you praise somebody, uh, you should say, Allah knows best whether he's righteous or not. And may appear as righteous before you, but only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows about the hiddens. So you focus on one thing, that you are interested in knowledge. So you admire this part that I think he's an authentic source of knowledge, and Allah knows best. And as I said, in answer to your question, you should really comply with your husband, and Allah knows best.